Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the force that would be required to hold something on an inclined surface. So what we have here is a shipping crate weighing 73 tons is being transported up a causeway with an incline of 4.6 degrees. How much force would be required to hold the crate? And sometimes in some texts, they will give you how long the causeway is, but that's just extra information that's not needed. So I didn't include it in this problem. Okay, so what we have is we have a causeway that is inclined at 4.6 degrees. And I know that I probably drew that a little too much. It's not drawn to scale. Okay, and on this we have a crate that weighs 73 tons. So basically what that's saying is that the force is pulling it straight down by a magnitude of 73 tons. Okay. Um, there's also a force that's required to keep it perpendicular here. And then what's going to happen is we're going to draw um, another vector that is going to be parallel to the causeway. So these two are going to be parallel to each other. So since we have a right angle here and we also have a right angle here, Okay, um, what's going to end up happening is that these are similar triangles, so the 4.6 degrees is going to be the same for this triangle that we just drew. And so since we have um, parallel vectors, their magnitudes are going to be the same. So we're going to find this here, so if I just label this as A, B, and C, we're going to find side B. We're going to find this one here. Since we have a right triangle, we can use SOHCAHTOA. Remember that this just stands for sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we can remember um, which trig function we should use. So since we have a right triangle, and we are trying to find this side measure down here. It is opposite of the angle that we know. So since it's opposite, and then we also know the hypotenuse because this one is opposite of our right angle, we are going to use sine. So we can say that sine of 4.6 degrees is equal to the opposite side B over 73 tons. So now all we have to do is take our calculator. Um, to get B by itself, we would just say that B equals 73 times the sine of 4.6. Do make sure that you check that your calculator is in degree mode and not radian mode. So I'm just going to use a free online calculator. Um, it does say that it's in degree mode. If it said radians, then it would be in radian mode. So for this particular calculator, it is desmos.com. It's just a free scientific calculator. And you would just type in 73 times sine of 4.6. And then when you hit enter, that gives you your answer, 5.85. So if you're asking yourself, would it have mattered if I would have been in radian mode? And the answer is yes. So um, if you forget to check, um, so if you notice it automatically changed it up there to the negative 72.539 because it changed the mode. Um, so it is important that you make sure that you are in the correct mode. All right, so that would be our final answer. So we are required to have a force of 5.85 tons to be able to hold this crate on the incline so it won't slide backwards. Um, so with this, having a picture really does help you out and you're just using, since you ended up with a right triangle, you're using right triangle trig. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.